Hey guys, so yesterday I set a cusk trap over here behind my house at the river. I'll just show a little bit because it's really windy. So that's the river. And right over there, I drilled a hole. So when I came to check over here, the law is you have to check your cusk traps every hour. So I came and I checked it and I, I put my flashlight in the hole just to kind of see what it looked like. And there was actually a crayfish going after my bait and for bait I used a, um, a sucker a dead sucker so today what I did is I drilled three holes and I'm gonna set two cusk lines and I'm actually gonna set a crayfish trap just out of curiosity because I don't think they're supposed to be out in the winter time and we have some harsh winters over here so I'm gonna film myself doing that and tomorrow I'll check the trap the crayfish trap see if we caught any So for the first trap, I'm just going to use a little shiner that I have, right here, this little guy. I'm going to try a shiner on this one. And I'm using a heritage trap. I really like these. It's hard to get a false flag on them. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that. So this is the first set, got it in my hole, got the flag set up. So what happens is something grabs the bait, pulls the reel, the reel unwinds, triggers this, and that'll go off. And the flag will be up, that means you might have a fish. So my second trap, I'm using a jack trap, this one's pretty heavy duty, I got that pretty heavy line on there so if a big fish grabs that we're all set actually the heritage trap has the same line just different brands and for this one, i'm going to use a pretty decent sized sucker about an eight inch sucker hopefully a cuss will come get these so also on this jack trap i have a treble hook all right so i'll bait that on all right so for the crayfish trap I'm just going to use one of the ones that we made. You've seen these in our other videos. And for the bait, I'm just using a bunch of leftover yellow perch from our fishing expeditions in the summertime. After we fillet them, we keep the heads and all that for this purpose. Right here, go cray fishing. So close that up and I'll drop that in the hole. And we'll see if we catch any crayfish in the winter time. Of the traps it's very windy I'll probably have to do a voiceover that's the heritage
crayfish trap. And that is the jack trap. That's Canada right there. Yeah, I'm on the river. It's pretty sketchy. There's a lot of slush. Alright guys, so it's the next day. I pulled the two traps out yesterday, the uh, ice fishing traps, the heritage and the jack trap out last night around 8.30. We didn't catch anything as I suspected. And the hole for the crayfish trap froze under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my auger. I'm going to drill a hole right next to it. And then I'll pull it out through that hole. And we'll see if we caught anything. All right guys, so as luck would have it, when I was drilling those holes, my auger cut the rope. So, I put together a hook on the end of a stick. I put a couple tie wraps underneath that duct tape. And I put a bunch of duct tape. So I'm gonna try to grab the trap. Luckily it's not that deep here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's right down in there. And earlier I did see a crayfish the outside of the trap, hoping that it went in. So I'm going to try to pull that out. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it happens so I don't lose my trap. Okay, well, that my hook worked. I was able to pull the trap out and check this out. There's actually two crayfish. One there, another one here. So I'm going to put those in a bag and bring that up to my house. Put that in with my fish. My bait fish. That is so cool. All right, so I brought the uh, crayfish to the house to show my son. And I decided I'm just going to go put them back in the river. I'm going to go check my jack trap. And while I'm at it, I'll just throw these guys back in. All right, so I'm at the river. Just like I said, I'm going to empty those. Put those guys right back in the water. There. There. Right back in, and hopefully we'll get a cusk. I doubt it's gonna happen, but you never know. I'll keep that here for two more hours. I gotta check it every hour. 